Welcome back to WWH. My name is Andrew Dreamer. I wanted to try something a little different. I enjoy reviewing movies, but I also like talking about other aspects of horror as well. And I had a thought. We all love to imagine what would happen if our favorite slasher villains fought each other. So I thought it would be cool to put that in the context of a pro wrestling match. And that's exactly what we're going to do. That being said, welcome to Slasher Showdown. It's time to get this show started. Today, we're diving deep into the twisted realms of horror for a showdown that is sure to send shivers down your spine. Victor Crowley, the Bayou Behemoth, will be taking on Art the Clown, the silent sadist. Who would emerge victorious? Let's dive into the hypothetical horror and dissect this ultimate clash. In one corner, we have Victor Crowley, the ghostly force haunting the swamps, known for his brute strength and insatiable rage. In the other corner, Art the Clown, a silent psychopath who thrives on sadistic creativity, leaving a trail of bodies and chaos. Two iconic figures, each with their own distinct style of brutality. Victor armed with his iconic hatchet, a symbol of brutality and pain, and his brute strength. Art, wielding an assortment of weapons from guns to blades, he brings a carnival of chaos to the ring. The question is, can Victor's hatchet crush Art's bag of tricks? The bayou's eerie ambiance meets the sinister carnival as the bell rings and the two killers lock eyes. Victor charges like a freight train, swinging the lethal hatchet. <laughs> But Art deftly dodges, leaving a trail of confetti and chaos. The crowd is on its feet. A series of powerful slams and clotheslines showcase Crowley's brute strength. Art struggles against the relentless onslaught. However, Art the Clown is not one to be overpowered easily. He uses his uncanny agility to slip out of Victor's grasp, leaving the audience in awe of his evasive maneuvers. Art taunts Victor, playing mind games to unnerve the Bayou Behemoth. Art lures Victor Crowley into a game of cat and mouse. The clown's unpredictable movements and eerie laughter keep Victor on his toes. Art darts around the ring, leading Victor in a chase reminiscent of his movies. Despite the mind games, though, Victor Crowley's determination is unwavering. The chase intensifies with the Bayou Brute relentlessly pursuing Art. The crowd is torn between cheers for Victor's strength and gasps at Art's agility. As tension builds, Art the Clown wearing a mask seems to concede. He reaches for his mask and the crowd holds their collective breath. The mask comes off, revealing his terrifying face paint. A brilliant twist that showcases Art's commitment to the chaos. Victor Crowley's expression changes from confusion to just pure anger. The unmasking doesn't deter him, but it does add a layer of psychological intensity to this matchup. The crowd is left in awe of the unexpected turn of events. Art the Clown regains control once again with a series of sadistic attacks. He employs unconventional weapons, pies, laced with mysterious substances, surprising Victor and the audience. The unpredictability of Art's offense keeps the crowd guessing, and just when it seems Art has the upper hand, Victor Crowley powers through, unleashing a barrage of devastating moves. The Bayou Behemoth's strength shakes the ring, and the audience rallies behind him. In a final, unexpected move, Art the Clown pulls out a concealed weapon, a tricked-out umbrella that sprays confetti and emits a loud noise. While Victor is momentarily disoriented, Art delivers a low blow, setting up for his finisher. Art executes his finisher, a twisted variation of a pile driver, and secures the pin. The referee counts one, two, three. Art the Clown emerges victorious in a match that blended horror and wrestling in a way no one could have possibly imagined. Art the Clown revels in his victory, dancing around the ring amidst the chaos that he solely created. The crowd, torn between fear and admiration, watches as Art exits with his bag of tricks. Victor Crowley, though defeated, 
disappears into a foggy darkness on the entrance ramp. The supernatural aura lingers, leaving the audience with a sense of lingering horror. The clash between Victor Crowley and Art the Clown was a spectacle that has transcended the boundaries of traditional wrestling. It merged the supernatural and the macabre leaving the audience in awe of the unexpected twists, psychological drama, and the masterful storytelling that unfolded in the squared circle. This was more than a match. It was a horror experience that will be remembered for its uniqueness and the blending of two distinct worlds. What a match and what a spectacle. Do you agree with the outcome or do you think Victor Crowley got robbed? Let the debates rage in the comments below. Of course, this is all hypothetical and just my opinion, but I think it's a fun concept to expand upon and I would like to continue with this series in the future, that is, if you all are interested in it. If you are, just let me know down in the comments along with some suggestions for future matchups or suggestions to improve the quality of the matchups. If we get enough matches together, maybe we'll even make a real event out of it, put a little quote-unquote pay-per-view together. If you enjoyed this horror wrestling extravaganza, don't forget to hit that like button, share with your fellow horror enthusiasts, and subscribe for more spine-tingling content. Don't forget to head over to Patreon and consider becoming a member of the WWH Universe. We have a lot more coming your way very soon, but until then, my name is Andrew Dreamer, and this is Wrestling With Horror.